Right, now this is this one I haven't actually even powered up yet, so <laughs> this will be interesting. Let's put the light on for a second. It's got a swivel base, beautiful build quality. Um, Dynatron Hacker, same thing I suppose back in the day till the um, Hacker Brothers left to join to, to form their own company. A few paint splashes and that on it, but it's got the little pegs in which are stops for the handle. Again, very often they're torn out of the wood, people just crunch the handle down. It's a nice touch because it stops it damaging the timber. I mean, that case is pristine. That's beautiful condition. In like a rosewood colour this one. I think they were available in a couple of different colours but this is definitely the rosewood one. Hello. Cool. What have we got there? Alright. Hmm. I shouldn't have pulled that off. It's a cover for the um, circuit board. So, obviously that's come off now. Need to put a bit of uh, double sided tape back on that. So, this is a, an 18 volt set by the looks of it. So, this is going to pack some punch. Let's get a couple uh, PP9s. Rather than hook it up to power. Let's get a power jack. No, it's not going to external power jack anyway, so I'll pop a couple PP9s in it for now. Make sure we're off. Hmm. This, oh wow, I've actually got a weighted tuning control there, that. Lovely. I don't think these are the right knobs, you know. Certainly that um, that one doesn't line up. Don't worry, it does look really smart though. Right, that's one. Which way they go in? I have actually got the servicing manual for this radio, so uh, this will get a, a restore. And a proper tune up at some stage. That's that one. As soon as I saw this radio for sale, it was uh, sold. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit disappointing this thing here. Someone's glued it back there at some stage. Should we see a switch off and change the batteries? Hmm. I'm just going to pop a little bit of double sided tape on that for now just to hold it in place. I'll sort that out later on when I uh, get around to. Um, Restoring it. Yeah, I'm quite uh, looking forward to firing this one up. There we go, that'll hold it for now. Look at that monster, it's huge. Again, not as big as the so Super Sovereign, obviously, but um, still a substantial radio. Let's um, try them on VHF first. Radio needs that area needs a bit of a grease. So I'm not going to pull that right out. Oh ho ho! AF one one sevens, perhaps.
Yep. That one ain't doing nothing. Let's have a look. I bet that's got AF117s in it or 115s. I bet it has. Yeah, it's got AF117s in it. Of that era, nothing on the amplifier board. A couple of new market ones there. Obviously, the push buttons there. Looks like this one's going to need a full restoration. Oh well. It was worth a try, but um, that one's got to be restored by the looks of it. I have to find out whether that was solus working or not. It clearly isn't working. Yeah, it's definitely not. Not no worky. East no worky. Yeah, it's classic AF series transistors that is. Shame, I was looking forward to that one working, but uh, it's a no.